ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Battle Britain Memorial Flight, thank you very much indeed. And thank you, Keith, for describing them as now rolling. We have the Airbus A400M, the Atlas. Playing this four turbo prop airlifter, but it's one that shows a real turn of pace and agility in its display contributed to us by its manufacturer, Airbus Defence and Space. So it's now very much an operational reality with the Royal Air Force, and indeed there's one of the new Atlas C1s on display in the stepping park here. today being displayed by uh, Airbus, but in Royal Air Force service with 70 squadron at Royal Air Force Prize Norton. Oh, 
the ability to uh, roll the aircraft to 120 degrees with this we expect to see at the top of this climb no matter how many times you see that it never fails to express this is the most impressive large aircraft display that you are going to see this weekend and it's the most impressive I've ever seen very similar silhouette to the C-17 which is operated by the final force of the right north in the 1990 the A400M from its role in last year's film Mission Impossible Rogue Nation which was filmed with RAF Wittering using one of the test fleet and you may remember Tom Cruise clinging to the side of an A400M or at the very least being seen to also intended to air-to-air -air refuel helicopters, other large aircraft and fighters. It can carry a wide range of operational loads. It's a very capable platform indeed. It's coming in for a short landing. And during these displays this weekend, we've been remembering a man who was instrumental in this aeroplane's development program, the former chief test pilot of Airbus military, Ed Strongman, who made the type's first flight. He flew it here on several occasions at REAC, including his British public debut in 2010. Ed was an absolutely lovely bloke. Unfortunately, he passed away earlier this year. And so, he's very much in our thoughts as we watch the landing in the hands of British test pilot Tony Flynn and co-pilot Francois Brun of the Airbus AU400M Atlas. maneuverable on the ground as well into reverse pitch and backing up with the <laughs> backing up with a bit of a bounce there I think the uh, rear loading ramp should be open and as it taxis past you'll see a uh, number of test markings on the back of the aircraft for calibration duties during the flight test program which is continuing thanks again to Airbus Defence and Space for their presentation of the A400M but now it's going to be back to some F-16 action and this one comes courtesy of the Hellenic Air Force and the commentator for this is Captain Papa Dimitriou Nodas. <laughs> <laughs> 